A new bombshell has entered the villa. It's me, I'm the bombshell. Like a lot of you, I'm obsessed with Love Island, specifically this most recent season of USA. The casting, the drama, the outfits. And if you aren't familiar with Love Island or you don't like it, stick around because it's worth it just to see some of these cool outfits. Like here are some of the girls in some fire outfits, doing the absolute most at the fire pit elimination ceremony. So today I'm gonna be buying a handful of my favorite outfits that have been worn on Love Island. What's also cool about the fashion on the show is all of the girls are always looking fabulous, but the outfits range from like thousands of dollars in vintage designer clothing to like 10, $15 pieces from Amazon and Shein. So let me introduce you to the Islanders. And by Islanders, I mean the outfits. Also do you like my Love Island water bottles? They're nice and clanky, just like the ones on the show. And they do the really satisfying. <laughs> we made them for all the girls on the Hope Scope team. You can get these on Etsy for like 30 bucks or you can just go to Walmart and get the $5 water bottle and make them on your own. But they're so cute. Ready for our first couple of Love Island looks? I'm not gonna lie, part of why I wanted to get these is because I wanted to show you my super cute new swimsuit. It has nothing to do with Love Island. I just think it's beautiful. It's by one of my favorite designers ever, Pat Bow. And I was able to get this when they were doing like a huge end of spring sale. So this was normally like $400, but I got it for 150. Look at the beading detail on this though. Like this is what princess mermaid dreams are made of and I'm so excited to try this on. But then the Love Island outfits. Okay, here's our first one. I'm gonna try it on in a second and I really hope it looks cute on me because it looked adorable on Serena on the show. So during the day they like wear their cute little swim outfits and she had a couple of these looks where she would wear a swimsuit and then like a long sleeve cut off cover up thing over it and it looked so cute. So I found this one. It was 25 bucks on Amazon. The brand is who lengths? Let me start over. Women's 2023 summer crochet crop top, cute long sleeve hollow out knit crop sweaters top. If you're currently watching Love Island or you're going to watch it and you don't want it spoiled, put me on mute for like a few seconds. Three, two, one, I'm muted, great. How do we feel about the fact that Serena won? At first I didn't know, but then I was like, no, I guess out of everyone in the finale, they did kind of deserve it, huh? Like they're together since literally the beginning. They worked through their issues, I guess, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, you can unmute me now if I was muted. <laughs> also, if you don't want spoilers, probably don't open the comments because I definitely want to hear from you guys what you thought about the whole season. Okay, let's try on this swimsuit. Ta-da! Isn't this adorable? Okay, this reminds me of a TikTok that I saw about Love Island. It was like, we're not playing mermaids in the pool anymore. We're playing Rob in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. Also, this fabric feels like the type of thing that you wear one time and then like, how do you wash something like this? You don't. So I don't know if it's the most durable piece of clothing. Okay, here it is. It worked. I was afraid it was gonna be like too little, but we've got the cute little flare on the sleeves. I like it. I think it'd look better with just like an all black swimsuit, but this is pretty fun. By the way, I found this adorable Instagram account. It's called Love Island USA Style. And that was a huge help tracking down some of this stuff. So shout out to them. Okay, next look. Also, a swim cover up. This one was worn by Nicole. This is funny. It feels so much like this Amazon one, but this one was White Fox Boutique, $55. It doesn't necessarily feel like any better quality than this. It's just more fabric. So let's see how it looks on though. Okay, what do we think about Nicole's couple outcome? I'm not gonna lie. I was rooting for them to do better than they did, but also I don't know if they're still together. We'll have to wait and see at the reunion, but I kind of think they broke up. <laughs> That's all I'll say. I really like this cover up on her though, because it has the cute open back. Oh yeah, and it has the kind of oversized sleeves, just like that green one. Yes. <gasps> This is so cute. I love the open back. This is adorable. I feel like it's hard to find cute swimsuit cover-ups that aren't frumpy and still like somewhat show off your swimsuit, but you feel like covered. This is good. I like this. Is it worth $55? I don't know. I'd say probably wait for it to go on sale, but cute. Okay, so most of our looks are from this most recent season six, but for this outfit, I'm throwing it back to season two USA. This is an outfit that Sally wore and I just thought it was so pretty. And this literally looks like a design her gown, but it's actually Fashion Nova and it was $35. So I'm hoping it looks cute on me too. Honestly, I feel like the dark green with my pink hair could kind of be a vibe. We'll see how it turns out. I'm ready to pull somebody for a chat. 
Here it is. I cannot believe that this was $35. So I looked it up and I did get it on sale. It's normally 50, but still, this is such a cute set. I love the color. I think it's so flattering. The only thing is I have no idea what bra you're supposed to wear with this. Maybe you're not supposed to. Maybe one of those ones that like wraps around your back. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's like the biggest mystery on these shows is like, what are you wearing under these dresses? No idea. Fashion Nova is always like very hit or miss for me, but I would say this is a hit. Okay, so here's my first fire pit outfit. The next outfit that I have, I guess technically it's a fire pit outfit too, but I'm really excited for it. Okay, so this one, we're taking it back to the most current season to my personal favorite person, Leah. <laughs> I'm so excited for this outfit. So this is what she wore, I believe, in the first coupling that they had. The first time that she coupled with Rob, rest in peace <laughs> to that relationship. But um, I love this outfit. I think it looks super cute on her. The color is beautiful. This dress is from Melanie the label and it was $157 for both pieces, which isn't terrible considering like this is pretty good quality. I'm really excited to try this one on. The only <laughs> thing that I don't know about is this top looks like a little, um, I don't know, like crop top moment, but there's no like, these are the arms. There's no hole in the bottom here. So I feel like there's a couple different ways you could wear it. You could wear it kind of sideways like this. Leah, I think is wearing it just like this with the back completely open. I don't know, we're gonna try it a couple ways and see how it goes. Okay, here's one way I thought you could wear the top, but I think I have pressed an incorrect key. I hate this, it's like choking me and this is scary. Although Leah did wear a few outfits in this season that she put a lot of trust in the top of. I don't like this one, I'm gonna try again. I figured it out. This is how Leah's wearing it. So one strap is like a halter and one just around your back. I feel a lot safer in this. Okay, this feels like a kind of more modern Meg from Hercules outfit. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, and then there is one more way that I saw that you could wear this top that I'm gonna try, but this is cute. This is not right. We're so close. Hang on. Okay, I don't know what we did wrong that first time, but I think this is how they have it on the website. Actually, I like Leah's way better queen. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> yeah, it just gave it more shape on the top than this one shoulder thing, but I do love this dress. I love the color. Like I said, the fabric is really good quality, so I don't think I've ever bought something from this brand, but I'm definitely gonna check out the rest of their stuff. This is so Love Island. <laughs> Cute. Okay, our next outfit is not a swim outfit. It's not a fire pit outfit. It's a challenge outfit. Okay, so this outfit, Outfit is one that live from this most recent season war in this fun dance challenge that they did. They would like the partners would dance, but they're separated by a wall so they couldn't see each other. And then they'd like stop dancing if they didn't want to be together anymore. And then they'd open the wall and reveal if someone stopped or if someone kept dancing. And it was so dramatic. It was so great. And Liv wore this cute outfit that I already have. <laughs> if you watch all of my videos, you might remember this outfit from the Oh Polly Bratz video. This was like the perfect outfit for that challenge because it was very like disco dance themed. So yeah, I have the exact same blue pants as her. They're like these shiny cargo pants. They're so fun. And then I don't have the matching shiny top. I decided to pair mine with this cute um, like rhinestone top instead. But Anna did get exactly the same as Liv's outfit, just in gold. So fun though. Oh, Polly's a very popular brand on Love Island. It's a good one. Like it's not crazy, crazy expensive, but I feel like the quality is pretty good. So that was fun. Are you guys ready? Okay, so this one was a little bit of a splurge, but the host of the show, Ariana Maddox, she had the coolest outfits the entire season. Like these dresses are unreal, but so is the price of most of them that I looked up. They're like designer, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. They're all absolutely incredible though. But there was one night that she walked in wearing this particular dress and I was like, that's a hope dress. Like that dress was made for me. So I found it on the Revolve website. This is the name of the brand. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce because I'm just gonna embarrass myself. <laughs> but they make beautiful dresses. Like, look at all of these. They are a little on the expensive side. So this dress was like $3,000, but it was super on sale when I got it. So I didn't pay that much for it. Okay, are you ready to see it? <gasps> Ta-da! It's gonna be so pretty. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've never been more obsessed with a dress. It's pink and this embroidery beading and the crystals, it's just so beautiful. It's so sheer though. And I think Ariana was just wearing like, I don't know, nude stuff under it. <laughs> That's like how it's meant to be worn. I have a couple options though. We could go like bodysuit or I thought, I thought like a skims type dress underneath would be good. I only have this long sleeve one for now. I need to get like a tank top version of it. That's probably realistic 
basically how I would wear this, but we'll try it on a couple different ways. Wow! Okay, even better than a bodysuit, I found this like skin tone dress. It would look perfect if it went all the way down to the ground. So I'm gonna try to find one of those because this is so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the pink detailing like perfectly matches my hair. This is so good. I can't wait to wear this somewhere. <gasps> How fun. I don't think we need to try it on with the hot pink long sleeve thing. I'm gonna die of heat if I do this. I think this, this is definitely the best option. <gasps> So cute. I will say this dress was a completely unnecessary purchase as much as I love it, but I really, really liked that $35 green dress. So it just goes to show you don't have to spend a ton of money to get a pretty dress, but I do love this pink one. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Okay, so it's the next day because I had a dress show up that I didn't think was gonna show up. And I'm really excited about this one. It's really cute. Also, a fun thing about this show, I would consider this Kaler's dress, but Liv also wore it. Daniela also wore it. And I feel like this season in particular, all of the girls shared a lot of their outfits throughout the whole time, which is so fun. Um, so yeah, technically this dress doesn't belong to just one girl, but it's so pretty. It's like this two piece set black with the cute little flower on it. Unfortunately, they were sold out of most sizes of this set, but we did find like a one piece dress version of it. And it was low key kind of expensive. This dress is like $150. So I'm interested to see if it's like high quality for itself but I'm not gonna be the one trying this dress on. I got a text! <laughs> it says, a new bombshell is on her way to the villa. Hashtag turning heads, hashtag bomb dropped. Oh. Um. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Anna Cole and I'm 25 years old from Florida. And I'm here to, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but actually, can we talk about how good this dress it looks on you? Cute. I didn't realize it was strapless. Wait, this oh, is it's so cute. cute. I love a good tropical flower, and it's like so comfy, I'm not even gonna lie. I maybe kind of like it better than the two-piece one, honestly. Yeah. That's cute. So I did look up, Kayla wore this when, um, right after Aaron's date with Andrea. And she was crying? Yeah. <laughs> this is episode eight, because I rewatched it for like a, second time yeah and she's like if you want to get on with her it's totally fine i'm like just wait if you haven't watched it spoiler that's where the kayler crying saga begins I know. I love it. wait when he was on a date with daniela yeah and then daniela wears the same dress later that's well actually. later in the season <laughs> or yeah they all share clothes i love that though yeah. that they don't only wear one thing once okay but is it good quality because it was kind of expensive no it actually is Cute. Love it. Hey, boy. <laughs> well, thanks so much for watching. Um, make sure to watch all my other dress videos. Like I did a review of Ekin Sue from Love Island's collaboration with Opali a while ago. That was a fun one. And we'll see you in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.